Conservative New Media peeps, what's up? It's me, John D. Villarreal, and we are reporting on what could be the most explosive, possibly, story of the year, if not beyond that, maybe decade, who knows what. Okay, I don't want to overhype it. I don't want to oversell it. This is my personal opinion, all my personal opinion, knowledge, and facts, casting, and spiritual check disclaimers. You know that. But here's the deal this is breaking now, or it has been breaking for the last day here. And that in the upcoming issue, the March edition basically, of the Journal of Cosmology, we've got a NASA scientist, Dr. Richard B. Hoover. He's an astrobiologist at the National, NASA's Marshall uh, Space Flight Center is claiming that he has evidence of alien life found on a meteorite. That's right, hold the phones there. We have a NASA scientist claiming that there is evidence of alien life. Now, the other major implication, and we'll talk about this in another video, is that this is life not on another planet, but on a meteorite that has Powerful implications in and of itself, okay? And we'll talk about that. But let's just deal with this. Here's what I believe happened. This doctor, this this right PhD dude, goes all over to you know Antarctica, Siberia, Alaska, different places, but very remote places, and also very cold, so it preserves things, right? And he's been dealing with these these super unbelievably uh, rare types of meteorites, C1, uh, uh, CI1, uh, carbonaceous chondrites, and there's only nine of these things ever. So there's just something like, like really, really rare. Get some, examine them. When he opened up this one in a sterile environment, he found, it was, what I believe he's claiming is a microorganism, a bacterial, a fossil of a bacteria like organism that looked like it was, you know, very similar to things that we see here on Earth. So now the, the potential ramifications are, we have possibly fossilized remains of bacteria on a comet that looks like things that we see here. Now, however, what's even, I don't want to say, more intense is that we also, I believe there's also some evidence here of stuff that is unlike anything we've seen before. So, you know, if some would say, and there are some skeptics, we're gonna deal with that in a second. If some would say, well, you, you know, this is, a, you know, we, we've seen this before, this is a fake, this and that, whatever. How do you fake something that can't be examined or duplicated or we don't know, we've never seen it before here on Earth? Yes, there's a species that we're constantly finding, stuff like that. But that raises the level of evidence a whole lot higher. Okay, that's a very, very hard, you know, if I show you something that's, that looks fossilized and, and is alive and you can't find anything like that in the known species or, or known um, uh, animal life um, or living organisms rather that we know of here on Earth, then that raises the bar extremely high as to, in terms of increasing the credibility. Now, all that being said, and this is a Stunning admission. There's a lot of people that have been pushing for governments around the world to release their, you know, uh, extraterrestrial or UFO files or all this type of stuff, whatever. And here we have a government scientist coming out and saying, hey, he believes that he has found evidence of life, uh, you know, uh, outside of Earth that then crashed to Earth. That's, that is explosive if it's true. But beyond that, now, now let's flip it around though. We have some that are still saying, wait a minute, you know, we've heard this stuff before, you know, these are huge claims and we need huge evidence. And there are, a lot of, there are some people that are not jumping on the bandwagon here. And so, you know, we don't want to jump too fast on this bandwagon. We're just bringing you the reports and our personal opinion and reaction to it because this is something that we know the CNN viewers around the world are all over and they need to hear about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link, we're going to follow this thing extremely closely and I'm going to have another video talking about the implications of this being on a comet as opposed to finding it on another planet, whatever, because that is explosive in and of itself and that deserves its own video. I'm going to link to the, to the articles below. I want you to check them out. I want you to read them and you tell me what you think. Is this the, you know, 
big evidence that everybody's been waiting for, or you're not quite sure yet, and, and also take this in context with the different evidence that we've seen this year, or last year, or within this last year, I guess, or recent years that we've seen about you know, bacteria that, are, that seems to be surviving in this you know, arsenic or, or phosphorus or low phosphorus lake in, in Mono Lake and some other evidence that has come out. The Kepler telescope always, there's a lot of stuff that's piling up now that seems clearly, in my personal opinion, to point to the uh, strong or increasing possibility, if not strong, stronger evidence of the opportunity, if nothing else, of life to exist outside of Earth. And I want to know where do you stand on this right now. And so this is explosive here. Give me the comments below, subscribe above, rate this video high. I'm John D. Valero, you're watching Conservative New Media, and we'll see you next time.